Welcome back everyone, I'm Zell, and today we've got the LCP-1 versus the LCP-2. <laughs> Two guns from the same manufacturer, both of them wonderful, uh, very close personal defense guns. One of them a better gun if you're going to be shooting this gun at the range or if you have to take a longer range shot. So first off, let's look at the numbers. Barrel length exactly the same. Overall length essentially the same. Height. Height were about a tenth of an inch difference. Tenth of an inch. How much is that? Well, let's get the calipers out and set it for a tenth of an inch, or approximately a tenth of an inch. There is 1.01. .01. That is one tenth of an inch. It's not quite two quarters. A little bit more than a single quarter. So, it's not much, especially whenever we're talking about a height measurement from here to here on such a small gun. It's only three point six and three point seven one so very minute difference on a gun this size another measurement that is rather important is width now the widest spot on the lcp1 is right here and that is a point about 0 0.8 eight tenths of an inch the widest spot on this gun is about 0 0.9 once again that one tenth of an inch difference a little bit more than a quarter so you have to figure out if that's important to you or not weight we're about one ounce different in weight lcp1 at 9.6 lcp2 at 10.6 both of them gain almost exactly an ounce whenever you load them up with six rounds of ammunition so about 12.02 ounces loaded and about 13.09 ounces loaded on the LCP-2. So they maintain that light weight, even fully loaded. Trigger pull numbers. I measured these guys, averaged them on our Lyman trigger gauge. I got seven pounds on both of them. That doesn't mean they're the same, but I did get seven pounds on both of them. We'll talk about what's different here in just a minute. So let's go back to that widest width on the frame. Okay, your widest width's right here. That means you put this very skinny area of the gun in to the web of your thumb to your index finger whenever you go to fire this gun. So that very small area is transferring all the recoil, all the force of the slide going back and all the other things that are happening whenever you fire the gun that are causing recoil into a very small area in the web right here. Now, the LCP, as far as I'm concerned, is not too terrible to shoot. It's definitely not my favorite gun, but it doesn't hurt my hands or anything. However, it is a gun that is not terribly easy to control unless you've got quite a bit of grip strength. What the LCP-2 does is it widens this area right here by a tenth of an inch. It doesn't sound like much, but, you know, get a look at the two of them. We're talking about a fair amount when you look at it like that. You know, a tenth of an inch doesn't look like much in the calipers, but whenever you look straight down on it, it's a fair amount. So now we have something wider sitting in there to take up that recoil to help mitigate it. And that means it's got a bigger contact patch here, and it does a better job. It's easier to control by a, a slim margin. It's not a huge deal but it is important because the LCP would uh, and I've seen this somebody that didn't have enough grip strength this thing would just jump all over the place because it's such a small lightweight gun this gun should be better about that another major difference we have Everything on the LCP is melted smooth, you know, and that's great for carry. You know, the 
front sight post is melted smooth the rear sight posts are melted smooth but that doesn't give you a whole heck of a lot to look at whenever you're uh, looking down on top of that gun if you need to get your sights in on something a little further away from you than point and shoot so what do we get with the LCP2 well first off everything's a little taller a little bigger little bit easier to see and i do not like the fact that they're all black and i will be painting that front sight post i've got some uh, special paint one of the viewers suggested coming in to paint this front sight post with and i'll probably put a little stripe right here too but it just gives you a little more to look at and we also have some ridges cut there to supposedly help visibility in the daylight yeah, you know, I don't know if they help all that much, but it's a nice touch. Uh, cosmetically, we need to get that out of the way real quick. LCP, very simple. This one does happen to be the stainless version, but it's pretty much the same as the all-black version. We have a very simple slide, well-melted, smooth, all the way around, caulking serrations on the back. LCP 2. We gain caulking serrations on the front. They do work better. I didn't think that the funny shape and mild angle that we gave them would make much difference, but it does. Makes quite a bit of difference. Works really well. And we lose some melting here. Little sharper edges here, little sharper edges here, little sharper edge here at the front of the gun on the polymer too. So if you're looking for that super smooth, highly melted, gun the lcp2 is not that gun however the gun i have carried this gun for the past couple of weeks and it took the place of this gun and it uh, it carries pretty much the same boys and girls we can talk about the tenth of an inch here or the not melted there or whatever uh, doesn't make much difference they carry almost exactly the same so now the big things. The LCP does not have a last round hold back. You can run this slide back and forth, you get down to your last round, it just goes forward just like normal. LCP2, whenever you have the LCP2 magazine in it, whenever you get to that last round, like there's no round in it right now, slide goes back, stays back. It gives you that indication that you're done, it's time to swap magazines, just like on your larger pistols. I happen to like that, it's really nice at the range, and if you are in that bad situation, it gives you an indication and maybe you'll get the magazine swapped out or run or whatever you need to do instead of thinking you have more bullets. When we go through the literature on these two guns, Ruger tells us that this texture here is much better. It's just all that in a bag of chips over the texture on the LCP. I'm hearing or there about it. You know, it doesn't make much difference to me. Uh, does this one feel better in the hand? Yes, it does. Uh, is it that much better? No. I'm probably gonna find one, a little wide rubber band or wrap some tape around it, pull a Hickok on it, you know, because it just feels better. Now, the one thing I do like here is the uh, texture right here on the LCP2. It's got that, I don't know, it's kind of a stippling type texture. Feels good, feels really good on your hand. Have the same texture across the back and all up in here and all these other places they put some texture. Is it really that much better than the original LCP? Right here, it is, but the rest of it, you know, I don't know. It's I liked how the original LCP sat in my hand, but some people may not. Now, the biggest thing, the absolute star of this show, is the trigger. For those of you that have shot the original LCP, you have this long trigger. Now watch how long we're here, then we start to gain resistance, and finally it goes off way back here 
whenever we move to the LCP2, we have zero resistance from there to there. That's nothing. And then slight stack and boom. And uh, like I said earlier, both of them go off at about seven pounds, so it's just much nicer. This trigger, if you have shot a modern striker fired weapon, this trigger is much closer to that style of trigger than the LCP was. The LCP was kind of like a really crappy double action revolver trigger. You know, you bought the bargain basement double action revolver, it had a trigger about like the Ruger LCP does. And another thing is once you fired this gun, and the gun cycled, you go to let out on this trigger, and you let out to there, click. You're ready to go again, right? Nope, uh-uh. You gotta let it all the way out here. Second click before you can do it. Now I'll shut up and you can hear that. LCP2, fire the gun. Let it out to there, ready to go again. Now, once again, I'll keep my mouth shut and you can watch in here. Much, much better. Like I said, it is much more like a modern striker fired pistol than the uh, LCP. So what's the verdict here? That's up to you. I'll give you my short synopsis. If I am doing a quick and dirty, I know that the only time I'm going to pull this pistol out is if somebody is way less than seven yards from me, it's going to be a very close confrontation. The LCP is a wonderful pistol, and it's cheap right now. And it will probably maintain that price into the future because it, I don't think Ruger is going to discontinue this model. I think these two models are going to run side by side. So look for this model to be probably 250 bucks or less for quite some time, especially in that all black version. If you're relying on your small pistol for the only form of self-defense you have on you, the LCP2 is the better choice. You have a better trigger and you have better sights. You have that last round hold back to give you some indication that you need to swap magazines. You have a little bit wider area right here so that the recoil of the gun doesn't get you quite as bad. Overall, the LCP2 is the better pistol. However, this one's $280. Currently, this one's about $220. Bucks. And at 220 bucks, if you're on a tight budget of any sort, but you're looking for a personal defense weapon, and you just can't save up that other 50 or 60 bucks, the LCP is a steal right now compared to most of the other small 380s out there. Of all of the 380s out there in the less than $240 price category, the LCP would be my choice. Now we go over about 230, 240 bucks. Uh, it kind of widens up, and there are some much better choices, including the LCP2. But uh, at that low price point, the LCP is definitely about the best gun you can get your hands on. Now somebody brought up that they think that this trigger is better than a Glock 42 trigger. I'm not going to say that, but I will say this. My Glock 42, and uh, I've dealt with two of them, neither one of them were reliable pistols that would eat just about any type of ammunition I put through them. This pistol, I mean, I don't have a wide variety of 380 ammunition, but I've put about three or four different brands through it, hollow points and FMJ, and it has ate everything I've given it so far without any fuss. The first maybe 20 rounds I did have a couple of odd things happen, but the next 100, 150 rounds, pff, nothing. So we'll just attribute that to brand new gun. So anyhow, guys, both these guns are very good personal defense weapons. The LCP2 does edge the LCP out, but just because of the trigger, the last round hold back, and for some people, the wider area right here for the grip. 
Anyhow, guys, I really appreciate you stopping by and talking guns with me for a few minutes. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And we'll try to get both these guys out on the range and off the table sometime here soon. Depends on what the weather does to me. But you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time.